Hey guys, it's Clonebrix98. So in this video I'm going to show you my LEGO Star Wars Renator class Star Destroyer. So this mock wasn't designed by me, it was designed by Christoph. He's from the Czech Republic and I got in touch with him over the Eurobrix Star Wars forum and eventually bought his instruction manual for this beautiful model. So first of all this model is in a MIDI scale like the Millennium Falcon and the Star Destroyer that were released in 2010. So it's a pretty cool model. It was really fun to build and he used some really awesome building techniques and I learned many new building this model. And let's give you a 360 degree view of this beautiful ship. The Venator class Star Destroyer first appeared in episode three during the Battle of Coruscant and then was shown in the Star Wars The Clone Wars show and in the Clone Wars cartoon show. So that was a 360 and let's start with the bridge. On top of the model you can see the reminiscent um, two-sided bridge or double bridge and in front of the bridge you can see a translucent blue piece that indicates the um, window pieces or the windows of the bridge where all the officers and clones can look out over the battle or into the galaxy and it's pretty detailed with some grill pieces and some iron ignite pieces and some wedge pieces so pretty cool and behind the bridge we can see some sloped bricks done with wedges and slopes to give it an angular look and yes yeah, so on each side of the venator we can see four double cannons or tubal lasers and they have heavy firepower to take on the separatist ships and eventually destroy them for the republic so yeah behind the bridge we can see the engines and it has four big engines and two smaller ones so inside the engines we can see some translucent blue parts to show that the Venator is flying into battle or somewhere else and yeah the engines are done pretty pretty cool way with using lots of those um, hinge pieces it looks pretty damn cool can see some details in the back and on each side of the venator we can see three stripes in the movie or in the tv show there are i think five or six stripes but in this scale it was impossible to show all the stripes or build all the stripes in this ship uses some really cool techniques using loads of angles and wedge plates so that's one thing I liked about the Venator and about this model. On each side we can see the smaller side hangers with some cool wedge plates to indicate the doors. And on each side we can see some details with using binoculars and some clip holders and some grill ports. In front or on the side of the Venator we can see a double cannon on each side and in the original model this was done by using some screwdrivers in um, light bluish gray or old gray but I haven't had them and used some pistol pieces. Here we can see on both sides the Republic symbols. I used the printed ones and Christoph used some stickers on his original model but these were released in 2005 in the Anakin Shadows Interceptor and I love the print and it came pretty handy in this model. So in the front or in the middle section of the ship we can see the main hangar doors in red and dark red color and a little bit of gray and in the movie the doors open sideways but in this model it can be opened so it only shows the doors so now it's time to show you the bottom side of the Venator class Star Destroyer 
So in the middle we can see a red stripe going from the front to the bottom hanger and inside the bottom hanger we can see a bucket holder to show the docking bay and some griddle parts. Behind the hanger there's extra detailing and grippling. And so here is a really cool built fin that goes to the back next to the engines. And yeah, looks pretty sleek and pretty aerodynamic. So the stand of the model is built in a similar in a really really simple way. And yes, yeah, so here are some rubber parts. They will fit inside the hanger and it's a really really tight fit, so I won't do it because oftentimes the G slopes break off and yeah, it's pretty tight in here. So the stand can't be moved, it's on it's built of some technic parts and the base of the stand looks pretty cool with these rounded parts and the um, tiles. So yeah, that was my review of the Venator class Star Destroyer made by Christoph. So if you want to see some other cool Star Wars stuff or more Star Wars stuff in the future, please leave a like, subscribe and yes. So see you next time my friends.